channel. So this short video that I'm making today is me talking about transitioning on a raw vegan diet, transitioning to a raw vegan diet, and mastering a raw vegan lifestyle. So my journey becoming a raw vegan didn't just happen overnight. And I think that it's important for people to realize that this isn't an overnight thing to become a raw vegan. And you may not be able to, you, you can't just be a raw vegan. There's a lot of steps to becoming a raw vegan that people have to take and people have to understand. First of all, you really have to understand the strategies that you need to do to become raw vegan, or maybe not even become raw vegan, but to eat a healthier diet and to start adding a lot more raw vegetables and fruit into your diet. Because when your body hasn't really eaten anything, but a lot of the standard processed foods and things, your gut bacteria is not ready to make these changes really quickly. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. And they say to me, well, I just couldn't do that because, and I can't do this because. So you have to start to figure out first what things you think you might need to eliminate from your diet. Now, when I started before my six year journey that I am on now, which I'm going, I, I've got a full six years going into the seventh year on a raw vegan diet. But before I even journeyed into a raw vegan diet, I started juicing more. And I started noticing that when I put things in my body that my body didn't like, it was becoming a lot more sensitive to things that I was allergic to and things that my body was kind of rejecting. I also decided to give up bread. So my, my suggestions to people that just can't give up bread right now or at first is to maybe um, eat Ezekiel bread. Um, it is, at least it's cooked but at least it's seeded sprouted bread and it's not the, um, the, the flour and whatnot. And that was something that I did for a little while. I would eat Ezekiel bread on very rare occasions. I pretty much just gave up any other kind of bread until I finally decided that I really didn't even need that anymore and I wanted to go more raw. But you have to figure out ways that you're going to stick on this. And I think that that's the most important thing to really conquering, becoming the best person that you could be. Let's not even say becoming a raw vegan, but you want to better your diet. You want to start adding more raw fruits and vegetables. And sometimes you may want to just think of it that way. You don't have to really think about that you're wanting to become a raw vegan, but you're wanting to eat more raw fruits and vegetables and introduce these things to your body slowly. And your body will start to notice differences and your body will start to crave some different things and start adding some smoothies and some juices. And instead of thinking about going on one of these um, long juice journeys right away, you don't even have to do that. You can transition slowly because I did not really do a long-term juice fast until I was into my, I don't know, I think it was maybe even four years before I did a 70 day juice fast and I didn't do these real long 160 days and all that. Um, I did the 70 days, but I, I had done a lot of other cleanses and water fasts and things in between, but I did them when I was ready to do them. And I also gave myself treats, things that I would enjoy. 
And I noticed that when I first got more raw that I was always craving chocolates. And so I would make the maple syrup and the cacao powders and all these chocolates. And, you know, if that's what it takes for people to be able to transition, I'm all for it. I, I am not for people just trying to jump into a raw vegan diet because I think it's a really serious thing. And so after a while, I got to where I didn't even crave that anymore, especially because I did do parasite cleanses. And I feel that the reason that I was craving so much sugar was because of the fact that I had parasites and everybody has something a little bit different and something they may need to do before they could actually give everything up find two things maybe that you want to give up and one or two things that you're going to start eating more of and just focus on that and that's the quickest easiest way to start a journey into health and to start to introduce your body to more healthy foods and as you journey along you will see the changes take place and your body will start telling you what you need to eliminate. And that's kind of the way that I did it. I did not eat like I eat now when I first went on a raw vegan diet. And when I got into my third year, I was still eating a lot of things that I don't eat now, like uh, liquid aminos and uh, coconut aminos, things like that. You know, I don't really add those things anymore, which there's really nothing wrong with using those things. And there's raw vegans that stay raw for years and use those things. It just depends on your individual journey and how you feel. And, you know, you can change things at any time. You can tweak things. So these are my suggestions. And th this is how that I feel that I mastered a raw vegan diet. I live now on raw fruits and vegetables. I eat very little processed foods. I don't add a lot of salt. And... Um, I don't eat a lot of sugar anymore. I don't pile even maple syrup in things like I used to. And I'm feeling healthier and healthier as time goes on. But anything in your baby steps, anything from the beginning is better than what you were doing. And that's all that you really need to be focusing on. So I hope these tips help somebody. And I'm just going to go ahead and read this word for the day. And this is out of Psalms. And it's chapter 136, verse 1. And it says, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful blessed day.